Good morning. So, today is... I don't even know what today is. I think it's Wednesday. It's still summer, so I'm not required to know when what is. Um, today's Wednesday, and my room is still in the process of being done. So, these walls are finished. But that right there and the ceiling has to be done. So, hopefully it gets finished today because... I'm so tired of living with, like, all of this there because I can't put it back in where it belongs. We have guests over today. Like, I don't even know why my mom is, like, inviting everybody over every day. Well, actually, most of them were, like, asking to come because we have a pool. So, yeah. You know, recently I've noticed that, um, I've been forgetting about a lot of my products. Um, by keeping a lot of my, like, you know, favorites or things that I'm trying out in this drawer right here, I've been using them. I've been kind of like, I sit down and I'm lazy to get up and go try the stuff that I used to love, you know, back there. So, um, you know, I decided to go in there and I found this tinted moisturizer from the bomb that I ordered years ago. <laughs> Not years, but like, it was a couple months ago. Um, in the beginning of summer, and I haven't even tried it yet, like, that's how crazy it is, like, I bought it, I paid money for it, and I haven't tried it yet, like, isn't that stupid? <laughs> I feel so embarrassed, like, um, my makeup collection is big. It's definitely not as big as some other gurus, like, recently I watched, uh, Carly Bible's, um, makeup collection, and I obviously understand she doesn't buy, like, her makeup, she, it's all sent to her, but, like, I looked at it and I was like, oh my god, if I ever get to that collection like I'm not keeping all that for myself like I'm gonna give it either to you guys or something because there is no way no way that one face this this face can use all that makeup and if it does that's bad because makeup is basically chemicals that you shove onto your face so I don't know I just random morning thoughts so I just finished my hair um, I finished my makeup first. I'm actually wearing false eyelashes today. I don't know if you guys can see that, but um, I don't know why I decided to get dolled up. There's really no occasion. I just have to go do some errands, but I'm probably going to film a video today, um, a couple of videos, so I decided I might as well do my makeup because I kind of want to do some intros for some of the videos and might as well look good, you know? Um, so yeah, I'm going to go get dressed, and then I'm not really sure if I'm going to leave now or in a bit. Um, the plan has not yet been um, made. I was working yesterday on the planners, so I have stickers all over the place. Um, I actually bought them at Michael's. I went to AC Moore, and I just had some lying around. So, Oh, I also got some from Target, so my planners are pumped up. Or pumped out. Like, what do people say? Anyways, they're, like, really cool and really cute. And I'm, like, really excited. So, this is what I had decorated for August. And I have, of course, my meetup. Um, you know, a little thing. Then I love this one. This one's fun. Um, and then I have a to-do list. Like, a bucket list for the month. So, I'm really excited. Because fall is my favorite season. Um, I obsess over it. The leaves falling makes everything look so beautiful and the scenery, even the ugliest place, can feel beautiful. Um, I don't know. I like that there's no bugs, that it's a little chilly and cozy and it's that time when like you can wear sweaters and drink hot chocolate and coffee and not feel like you're burning yourself up. Um, I don't know. I also ended up getting a planner in the mail um, from a company and... What's really cool about this one is the fact that they have um, the ability to put like things that are like important to you, like people's birthdays, um, in there and it tells you how old they are, like it calculates for you. I think that's awesome. Um, and then I, you can personalize it, so like I put those training little boxes because I wanted to make sure I remembered that every day I want to do a little bit of exercise, even if it's like for 15 minutes. Um, and then you can also pick what you want on the bottom over here. And I wrote exams this week because, you know, obviously school and that stuff. And then because I always have, like, super long to-dos, I put to-do under um, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Because um, I don't have classes on Monday. I have, like, one class. But Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday are my big days with a lot of classes. So, um, 
the to do's are right under that so I can like fill it in and then Friday since it's like a Friday you can always just like write it in like the notes or something like that it's not really that important but um yeah I'm in love I'm so happy with this um I can't even decide because I didn't even know I was going to be getting this until um I already purchased that one so I was just like oh and I'm supposed to be giving one away and I have a coupon code for you guys to personalize your own plan art. Like, how freaking amazing is that? Um, and I think it's, like, the coolest thing ever. But at the same time, Target had this, like, great uh, planner, too. So I'm kind of, like, you know, stuck in between two decisions. Like, I don't know which one I want to show in the video. Um, but I love them both. They both have, like, different things that I like about them. Um, most likely, I'm going to say, I'm going to be using the Target one for... Um, just overall plans like YouTube all that kind of stuff and then this will be my mind that like I put my homework in and that kind of stuff because it's smaller and I think it'll fit in the smaller um, pockets in my bag talking about a bag I need to go buy a bag for myself that's what I'm gonna do right now that's what I have to random thoughts but, um, yeah, so I think I'm going to put, like, the big picture of, like, things that I have to do in that one. And then in this one, I'll put, like, you know, homework assignments and that kind of stuff. Because I do want to use them both. Um, I love them both. And I don't want one to go to waste. But I'm a big planner. So, like, those are going to be, like, when I hang out, when I go, like, film videos. Like, that could be my YouTube stuff, too. And then this one can be, like, homework and stuff. Because um, in the big one, I can always write, like, homework, do homework. And then, like, be like, oh, what homework? And check the other planner. You know? That's how it, I roll. I make use of everything. I'm really excited for Saturday. That's my uh, meetup. I think I have mentioned it enough in my vlogs that you guys know I'm super duper excited for it. But um, Rose is actually coming. Um, I'm going to pick her up from the train station. We're probably going to have lunch. And then we're going to go to the meetup because, um, I don't know. I, I don't know. I wanted somebody to come so they could film it and like Ro who's better than Rose? Like Rose is my favorite. Um, honestly, she's my only like YouTube friend, I would say, that like I actually talk to on a like normal basis. Like I talk to um, a couple of other people, but like, you know, only at events like BeautyCon and that kind of stuff and I don't really see them outside of that. But with Rose, like I don't know, she's just such a nice down to earth person and I love her. So if you ha you're not subscribed to Rose, go check her out. Her um, channel i think it's rose beauty i will link it down below for you guys <laughs> she always comments on my things too oh search um rose kimberly that's what it is in the youtube search search rose kimberly and on instagram she's roselle r-o-s-e-l kimberly i believe i'm really bad at remembering people's like names and stuff um sorry i'm gonna reply to somebody Seems like a... I hate when people message me and I like open it and they can see that I read it and I don't reply. Like I feel like such a bad person. So I was trying to be a good person. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go change before I like bore you guys to death. Hey, so I'm in the car. Sorry about the AC if it's too loud for you. Um, I'm on my way to oh, lady with the dog. Let's walk as slow as possible across the street. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So anyways, I am on my way to TJ Maxx uh, because I decided I need to find that stupid bag for school because this is just unbelievable. Like what am I going to carry my stuff in? I'm like not going to carry them just in my hand obviously because it's probably going to rain and like snow on some days and like I don't want my laptop drenched. So I'm like trying to make my way to TJ Maxx, but as always, there are freaking slow cars and slow people in front of me. Look at that person slowing up the entire line. It just, and you know, it irks me when it's like a 25 area and people go like 22. What are you scared of? Like, there's no children on this road. Everyone is still sleeping. It's four in the afternoon. Everyone's still sleeping. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, so yeah, um, oh, I also wanted to go to the post office. Uh, should I go to the post office first? Like, I like really want to go. 
how long has it been since I've done like the announcement that I got like a PO box like a week should I wait a little longer I'll probably wait a little longer I'll go on like Saturday after no I don't know I'll figure it out maybe Friday we'll see but um, yeah I'm on my way to TJ Maxx so I'll see you guys there so I want to test out this angle for um, vlogging. Um, I want to know if it's better. Do you guys like it here or in the center? Because there are two options, either on this side or on that side. I want to know which side you guys prefer it. Where, what is more interesting? Oh my gosh! Like The guy stopped because there's a squirrel in the middle of the road. Now what? So, um, I definitely like this spot better. I just checked in my screen and I noticed that it looks a lot better this way. I don't know. I think it's just my preference, but also, um, I don't know. I feel like most of the time the move, I have like a giant pack of gum in my bed. Let's just like talk about the fact that I have an 80 piece gum thing. Okay. Anyways, um, there's something in my mouth. Um, I don't like the fact that. Sometimes I am filming and the lighting because I'm driving so mo like moving it like moves like it changes my face color and everything so it ends up being really hard to edit. This thing is not working out for me. Oh yeah. Okay, let's go inside. This suitcase is three hundred twenty something dollars. Three twenty four for what? like not that fancy I mean kind of is so I found these really cute um, boots they're by Steve Madden look at them they're so adorable I got a size seven I'm usually six and a half but um, yeah and look at these I thought they were so cute well actually they're like totally not my style but they're my like, the Russian style but one of them had like a pen mark and it's like they don't fit right you know what I mean it just looks awkward so I'm gonna take these they're gonna be perfect I'm gonna wear them a lot Hey, so oh, my brakes are literally terrible. Um, I just walked out of TJ Maxx. As you saw, I ended up picking up a couple of things. Um, I even actually went and, um, sorry, I'm just like looking through my bag right now because I'm trying to see if I have the Macy's credit card that I need. Oh, I do, fabulous, okay. Um, so I picked up there were these really nice, um, I don't know what they were called, like, they're not really combat boots. I showed you them, like, I don't know, do you guys know what they're called? Uh, I picked those up, and then I also picked up, um, what else did I pick up? I picked up a jacket, it was kind of like a, like, not a denim, but it was like a really nice material, um, I liked it. It was cute. It was gray, and I thought it would be great with, like, you know, a sweater underneath, like a scarf, something that I wear in the fall all the time. Um, and then I also picked up, what was it? Um, two shirts. They were kind of, like, loose and fall colors, and I was like, you know what? This is going to be good for fall and just wearing with boots and, like, jeans, you know. When you're a college student, like, you need different types of outfits, because I literally... Like, looking through my Instagram at my <laughs> outfit of the day is pathetic because um, every single outfit was a white shirt from Brandy Melville, um, a light um, cream or, like, a beige sweater, and then a jeans and a pair of um, boots, and then also... Uh, what was it? A scarf. A scarf. And I got like four of the same scarf in different colors. Um, like last fall. So I wore those all the time. Like I, it's just my entire wardrobe was the same exact outfit every single day. Just like I had multiples of jeans, multiples of the scarves, multiples of the sweaters. And it was just sad and pathetic. And I was like embarrassed at myself. So that's what we're going to have to deal with next time. road um, I kind of also wanted to go to Ulta is that where I want to go do I want to go there what do I want to do 
I'll go to the mall first and then Ulta if we have time. Um, I have to pick my dad up today too, so I don't even know when he's coming back. When, where, who knows. Um, yeah, so I got two shirts, um, the jacket, the shoes, and then I also found this book that was a little bit, like, it was, I don't remember what it was called, but it was, like, very inspirational, and it had, like, a lot about, like, religion and, like, you know, Jesus and everything, and I thought it would be an interesting read, so I picked it up because I need to read. I literally don't read anymore. It's sort of pathetic, so, yeah, but that's what we're doing, and what else? What else was I gonna say? What else did I buy? I think that was it. Oh, well, I'll talk to you guys once, maybe in the mall. I don't know if I'm gonna talk to you guys in the mall because I really just wanna try things on and like get out of there because people annoy me, but we'll see. Hey, so I literally walked in, walked out of Macy's. Like, they don't even have half their boots out. Like, it's literally, there. there's like, combat boots by like one designer and there's like 10 different colors of the same exact boot so it's it's nothing like snazzy or something that I want I want like a tall um boot I don't know I don't even know what I want I want to see like a lot of different ones you know and it, like by only having like two color like, like two different types of boots I'm not gonna like make the purchase now it just it sucks because I wanted to do it before like school started so I like had my like boots but obviously it's too early it's still August I don't know I just wanted life to be simple and this car where are you going like actually though I think it's hilarious when people try to go ahead of you for stuff and then like they end up like at the light in front of you or there's still there's like a person even slower in front of you I just I love it it's funny um, I'm hungry and it's 515 my dad usually comes back at like six something so I'm going to try to make it to Marshall's I think Marshall's might be a better bet for finding my bag. I need a bag, like desperately, and it irks me that I can't find one. Like, what is wrong with the world? Why are there no normal computer bags? Like, Macy's didn't even have any normal ones. Like, I don't, like, where do they keep them? Where are they stashed? Maybe they were like considered like laptop bags, but for like travel. Because Samsonite is a travel kind of thing. I should have checked the third floor, but I didn't. I regret that. Hey, so it's 5.30 and I'm like starving. So I decided I'm going to stop by Panera Bread before I get to Marshall's um, and get something because it just hit me that um, I didn't eat anything today besides toast with my coffee today. And I woke up at like 11 something. So I would say like I ate at 12 and now it's like 5.30 and I'm really hungry so I guess I'll walk into Panera and get something really quickly. Just the last time I went to this Panera by myself, um, it was just a really bad experience with some guy, like, I don't know if he was trying to, like, kidnap me or something, but it was, like, a while ago. It was, like, when I was, I think it was, like, the first or the second time I went to IMATS and was right after that. I came to this Panera and it scared the hell out of me and I didn't go to this Panera for a whole, like, month and a half or something. And... It's just he followed me awkwardly. He was just, it was all weird. And the strange thing is I can't remember his face for like the life of me. I tried so hard and I can't remember his face. All I remember is his hoodie, where his hand was, all his gestures and everything. But I can't remember what he looked like and it scares the hell out of me. Um, if you guys want, I can make a video on that. Like a whole talking about that weird experience. And I don't know, I feel like. I should share more with you guys about what you what happened to me like what kind of a 
what things I've gone through. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna go eat and then I'm gonna go walk into Marshall's to see if they have what I need. And I do know um, I need to pick my dad up around 6.40. So that is like 70 minutes away. So like an hour and 10 minutes I have. So. I'm just hoping that there's no traffic on my way back because I know that usually like people like to like crowd up this place at night um, but like in the evening when everyone's coming back from work like right now I can see that there's like a significant amount of cars waiting to turn out here actually no there isn't there's very few that's pretty awesome um, so I'm gonna try to get done as quick as possible so that I can make my way to pick my dad up actually wait there's a bar and snowballs around here too should I go in and just get like a, no, I need to eat. I need to actually get a meal. I'm really bad at eating. <laughs> I got Caesar salad, Prince egg chicken. So I just had my dinner, I guess. Um, also wanted to mention that I already walked out of Marshall's. Um, I, again, just like, Macy's walked in walked out but technically I did find one thing I was like totally gonna buy and it was um, <laughs> don't don't make fun of me please just take a moment just relax it was a candle like I really like the smell of it it was um, a here hearth hearth I don't know what the name was but it smelled delicious and I was like oh yes this is something I need to own and then I was like it's $12.99 for one candle and I looked at the line and there were like people online it wasn't just like you know if I went there'd be nobody online there were people online and I was like am I really gonna wait online for one candle when I have like 50 bajillion ones at home and so I was like fine I won't so yeah I make weird facial expressions sorry I had a lot of coffee right now I'm so like pumped but I'm really happy I actually had coffee um because I'm gonna be doing the videos tonight. I'm gonna be like talking and everything. So it's exciting because I'm gonna have like pumped up energy and a really filled bladder. So, you know, what can you do? But yeah, I really need to pee. That was a lot of coffee. A lot of coffee. Coffee. Hello, people of the road. I don't even know what town I'm in. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, my tummy is kind of hurting. Um, I drank really fast. And then I felt bad because they didn't have a recycling bin in Marshalls, so I had to throw it out into the trash can. I was like, are you serious? You hate the world. You know, I noticed that, like where I work too, back this summer, they didn't have recycling bins. Like, I mean, as much as people wanted to recycle, there wasn't the opportunity to recycle. And I feel like that's where the majority of the bad stuff for the world is coming from it's companies that don't recycle talk to your managers and people at your work and be like hey is there an opportunity for us to recycle Tease. and if they're like yeah no but we don't have anybody to recycle it I would totally like take the recycling with me and like recycle it at my house but my car is not big enough to carry like a bin of recyclables yeah. I'm getting weird. What am I even saying? Time to turn off the camera. Been this way since 18. Lately, Crumbling like pastries. Wasting the life come free to us. Just under the upper hand. Going down a couple grams. It's a freaking egg, egg cheering. I definitely had too much coffee. Too much. And when he said, do you want to upgrade it to a large because you have a free cup, free like beverage, I'm like, yeah. And then I ended up getting coffee, which was a terrible idea. I'm yelling in my car. Does anybody think I'm crazy? Because I do. Hey, um, so I didn't vlog. I, would, I went home 
I picked up my dad and then I went back home. Um, and now I'm gonna hang out with um, Courtney. I don't know if you guys remember. My darling roommate from my freshman year of college. Um, Courtney, yay! So she might actually participate in the vlog today, maybe. Um, I was gonna like hang out with her and just be like, listen, do you wanna do the roommate tag? <laughs> Cause you know how like we were supposed to do that, but like she chickened out kind of, sort of, not really. She, I don't know, she was like, let's do it. And then she's like, no, we, I don't wanna do it. Oh yeah, let's do it. And then she, she was just too back and forth on it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go um, meet up with her halfway. Cause we live like 30 minutes away. So we're gonna meet like halfway. You know what I mean? So yeah. Okay, that's enough music. Um, anyways, I'm sitting here in the parking lot all alone. I'm waiting for Courtney to get here. Um, she texted me and said that she's five minutes away. You know the sad thing is I'm out of data for the month, so like I seriously <laughs> um I can't go on Instagram, I can't go on Twitter, I can't do anything while I'm like waiting for people and I feel like this month has been the month where like I would I needed to wait for everybody like all the time. It was terrible. Um, I'm at the light. Where should I pull in? Ooh. Ooh. Bye. Jesse Penny. Yeah. Bye, Jesse Penny. I'm parked obnoxiously far from the store. So... Now we wait. I don't know if um, Courtney wants to drive or if I want to drive. Because um, we're kind of in my part of town, so I may know it better. I don't know. I really, I have no plans. Like, what are we doing today? No idea. No idea whatsoever. Like, I have no idea. Like, what it, like, I feel like whenever I hang out with my friends, the problem is to figure out what to do. And then, um, usually whatever we want to do, it, it requires money, it requires food, and it requires more food. Like, it's either Starbucks, food, or something else. I don't know. It's just there's nothing to do at night. Um, there's a weird van that almost pulled up and I was like Courtney if you're driving a creepy white van we're gonna have some problems but that wasn't her Courtney Courtney Nay, where are you oh is that you no that's not you that's that's an old an old man <laughs> Courtney does not look like an old man I just thought that was her car but it's not oh I should turn the camera off I've spotted the wild Courtney. <laughs> she parked right next to me. Yay! So we're at Walgreens. We have a concert coming up. Thank you. <laughs> Why do I hang out with her? I don't know. 